Question eight. Now, this is implicit differentiation. So the best way of doing this is just to write out each bit separately. So just divide it all up. And then what we do is we just work out the easy bits, first of all. All right, let's just get those nice easy bits done. You might be looking at some parts and thinking, well, what do I do with that? All right. And the reason this is difficult is because I've got x's multiplied by y's, and I've got y's, and I've got x's. Ugh, yuck. All right. So let's just do that bit there, first of all. Okay, that just means differentiate this bit with the x. So that's just going to be 3px squared. So that's a nice bit. And then over here, that's just going to be 0. Right. Now, these two bits, slightly trickier. So I'm just going to make a little bit of room just, just to do these, okay? So let's have a little think about what we do here. So if you think about it being multiplied by sort of dy over dy, and, and what it becomes is it becomes dy over dx. So all I've done is I've multiplied, I've just added these two bits here. So it's like multiplying by one if you like. So 3y squared. So now I can deal with that y. So that's 6y. So that's going to be dy over dx multiplied by 6y. Now let's have a little think about what we do just here. Now I need to split this up because it's x multiplied by y. So how we go and write that down? Well, just kind of rewrite it and just, just pop this bit in between the x and the y effectively. That's what you're really going to do. So you've got qx, and you've got d over dx and the y, and then plus, and then just write it the other way around. And that means the same thing. But it's giving me stuff that I can do. So if I think about this bit, first of all, that's just going to be this whole section here is just going to be q. So it's just going to be q times y. So that's going to be qy. And then this bit, well, this is dy over dx, isn't it? That's just dy over dx. It's, it's like doing this bit over here, all right? But this one's a little bit easier. So that's going to be y over dx multiplied by the qx. Right, OK, now I just need to make it look like this thing down here. Well, I can factorise, and then these guys, let's take them over onto the right-hand side. So that gives me dy over dx, so multiplied by qx plus 6y. So qx plus 6y, and then that's equal to minus this, and then we've got minus this part just here as well, okay? So minus 3px squared and minus qy. All right, look at it. See, it's like looking like this over here. Now we're going to divide by this. So dy over dx is equal to this part, minus 3px squared times qy, and all of that divided by this part. So qx plus 6y. OK, what's a, what's b, and what's c? So a is that bit. All right. b must be minus 1. OK. Note that b must be minus one. That's a, and then we got c just down there. That must be the six. All right. So we've got minus three, minus one, and we've got six just there. Right. Okay. Now on to the next bit of the question. Okay. Well, let's just start with like each little bullet point that we're given. So point P is minus one, minus four. Well, let's start with that and let's just plug this into our original line that we've got okay so let's just see what happens what does that actually give us so that's going to give me p minus one cubed i'm just following this line here through okay and i'm just substituting minus one and minus four in for x and y right that's all i'm actually doing so now i've got q Minus 1, minus 4, and then plus 3, and minus 4 uh, squared. And we all know the whole lot is equal to 
26. Now, if I do, if I multiply this out, do a little bit of rearranging, I'm going to skip a little bit here, but basically you end up getting P equals 4Q plus 22. Uh, just take a little bit of care with your negatives there. All right, so that's handy to know. Right, just there. Now I'm going to come and look at this second line of information. All right, let's think about what that's going to give us. Just there. So it says the normal to C at this point P has this equation just here. Hmm. Okay. Well, what d dy of dx? That's about gradients, isn't it? I wonder what the gradient of of, of this is. Right. So the gradient of the normal. So if I take away 19x, so so 26y equals minus 19x minus 100, oops, 123, divide by the 26, so minus 19 over 26x, to be honest, I'm not, I'm not that interested in that bit over there, minus 123 over, what is it, 26. So this is the gradient of the normal, so the gradient of the tangent is equal to just reverse it, change the sign, yeah? Okay, must be equal to 26 over, over 19. Well, okay, well, this is what this is just here. This is what we've got. So we know that if we plug in minus 1, minus 4, it gives me that answer. Now, this is the key bit about this question, right, is knowing that bit just there. So that's all I'm actually going to do, all right? What we're going to do is we're just going to put in minus 1, minus 4 into dy over dx because that's what we've just worked out. So we know that 26 over 19 equals, so minus 3p and then minus 1 squared minus and then q minus 4 and that divided by minus 1 and then plus 6 times minus 4. So what am I going to do? I'm going to get rid of, I'm going to tidy this up a little bit. I'm going to multiply by 19 over here and I'm going to bring this over here. So I'm going to miss a couple of steps, but that's going to take me to 26. Oops, I'll just move that a little bit for you there. 26 uh, minus Q minus 24 equals... 19, a little bit, just be careful with the arithmetic here, it's very easy to make a mistake. I was working this through earlier, made a mistake, took me ages to work out what I'd done wrong. Right, okay, so I've got that there. Now again, if I multiply this out, tidy it up, again I'm going to miss a little bit, but remember that P equals 4Q plus 22, and then bring that back in. And then that will give you P equals 2 and Q equals minus 5. And there you go.